Once upon a time, in a cozy little cottage by the sea, there lived a humble fisherman, named Peter and his kind-hearted wife, Emily. Despite having very little, they were content with their simple life, grateful for the blessings they shared each day. One morning, as Peter cast his net into the sparkling waters, he caught a magical fish, who spoke to him in a voice as soft as, the ocean breeze. The fish begged for its freedom, promising to grant Peter, any wish in return. But Peter, being a humble man, asked for nothing, more than a bountiful catch to provide for his family. With a grateful nod, the fish granted his wish, and disappeared beneath the waves. Overjoyed by their good fortune, Peter rushed home to share the news with Emily. Together, they feasted on the delicious fish, and thanked the sea for its generosity. But as days passed, Emily's heart grew restless, and she began to dream of grander things. She urged Peter to return to the sea, and asked the fish for a bigger house, a grand castle, and even a crown to wear upon his head. Reluctantly, Peter agreed to his wife's wishes, and returned to the shore. With a heavy heart, he called out to the magical fish, and relayed Emily's extravagant requests. To Peter's surprise, the fish granted each wish without hesitation, transforming their humble cottage into a majestic palace fit for royalty. But as Emily reveled in her newfound wealth and power, she soon realized that, material possessions could not fill the void in her heart. Despite living in luxury, Emily found herself yearning, for the simple joys of their old life by the sea. She missed the warmth of their cozy cottage, the laughter of their shared meals, and the contentment that came from being together. In a moment of clarity, Emily realized the true treasure was not in wealth or power, but in the love and companionship she shared with Peter. With tears in her eyes, she begged him to return to the sea, and asked the fish to undo their wishes, to return them to their humble beginnings. With a heavy heart, Peter complied with Emily's request, and the magical fish granted their wish, restoring their cottage by the sea, and their simple way of life. And so, dear children, let the tale of the fisherman, and his wife remind us that, true happiness comes from appreciating the blessings we have, rather than longing for what we do not need. May we always be grateful for the simple joys of life, and cherish the love and companionship of those we hold dear. Join us on AK's Stories for Kids, as we celebrate the wisdom of contentment and gratitude in The Fisherman's Gift.